to another video. So I will be doing an unboxing today because I have time. So I'm going to try to get through all three of them eventually today. Hopefully these videos will go up around the same time, but I'm not sure. So the first one I will be sharing with you guys is my fairy loot for the month of January. I'm super excited. I do have a story behind this. Um, when I received this box, my niece was over and she really wanted to look through it and see if she liked anything. So I let her and she picked out this really cute headband. Um, it had like um, crows on it. So I'm thinking it's uh, a six of crows related item, but I'm not positive. And, um, but I didn't look into the box. So this will be the first time uh, I'll be looking into this box myself. Uh, but she did end up keeping it. So I don't have that specific item. But yeah, I'm still really excited and I can't wait to open this and show you what's inside. And it's probably going to be kind of wonky because she did open it and put everything back in. But here is what it looks like. I'm super excited. I forgot what the theme was. Unbreakable Wands. And I love their artwork. I love their little theme cards. Oh, I love collecting those. They're so pretty. So the first thing I see is a candle and you guys know I love candles. Oh, this is really pretty. It's a will and a gem candle. And you can tell it's from um, the Shadow Hunters world. I have only read the Mortal Instruments series. I didn't love it. I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. So I still have to read the Infernal Devices and the Dark Artifices. And I have I have all of that, all of those books, I mean. So hopefully I'll get to them eventually. But this is a really beautiful candle. I love it. I love when they include little art prints on here. It makes the display a lot nicer. So there's that. Oh, and this is tea and sweet sage. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. Oh wow. I really like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next we have this um, Leah and Pauline, the Remnant Chronicles um, something. It's a cute little tin. It's, oh, it's salted caramel and hot chocolate. Oh my gosh. That's super exciting. It's like a little twisty one. Yeah, it's a twisting one. Oh, it's loose. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want to I wanna drink that now. And this is perfect for right now because yesterday it was really hot. It was like in the 80s and I can't stand the heat. And I was really sad because we haven't even had spring yet. So where did summer come from? So... It was really cool because it got really cold today and apparently tomorrow there will be rain. So I'm really excited. I love cold weather. So yeah. And next thing we have is a lip balm. Jewels and Arsenault. I don't know what that's from but look how cute that is. Lip balm is something I use all the time whether it's summer or winter. So this is awesome. I go through them so fast. Next I have a wood mark. Yes. Okay. It says there is some good in this world and it's up and it's worth fighting for. Oh, that's so beautiful. Is that Lord of the Rings because of the little knife? Ink and Wonder. That's beautiful. I'm not sure, but I think it is because look, it's glowing. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Woodmarks, my favorite kind of bookmark. So next we have, oh, the monthly character cards. Yay. So last month they were from Akatar. I don't know if, what they are this month. Oh, I think they're Akatar as well. So we've got some Akatar characters. And they're beautiful. I love that they're doing that now. So every month they'll have like fandoms that you vote for. Um, so the next thing is a little art print thing. Oh no, it's a, it's a promotional thing. It says girls make better kings and it's for once and future. Oh, it's like an, an author, a King Arthur retelling. Oh, that's really cool. I love King Arthur. So that's really neat. Oh, I want that book. Okay, so we got a little promotional thing. Then we've got another promotional thing, I think. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you hurt us, we're coming for you. And it's about a book called Black Coats. The Black Coats. I don't know what this is about, but it looks super interesting and I kind of want it now. So that's really neat. Okay, next we have a fabric -y thingy, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, what is this? What is this? 
It says the trees speak Latin. Oh, this is um, from the Raven Boys. I haven't read that series either, but I do have it and I plan on reading it someday. But I do know a lot of their quotes because they're always posted everywhere. But look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, the back is just as beautiful. Look at that. This is probably my favorite like pillowcase. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, I love this. Oh, it's a throw pillowcase. All right, and then, oh, now we're to the book. I have to admit, I really enjoyed every item they had in this box. Even the promotional items were really cool because they did intrigue me, those books. So let's throw that down there. And let's open this up. Oh my gosh, my dog. Okay, so there's always little papers, but I saw the book already. So let me show the book now. It's called Circle to Shadows. Circle of Shadows, oh my gosh. Circle of Shadows, I don't know what it's about. It says, oh, a society of assassins, an empire of magic, a world of secrets. Sounds like my kind of book. I love that. I love anything with assassins, so that's really cool. I kind of want to find out what it's about, but. Um, love, spies, and adventure bound. In a complex web of magic and secrets that might tear them and their entire kingdom apart. I don't know, that sounds so good. I'm super excited. And it's just a simple black book. Oh, with lavender pages. It's so pretty. Um, oh, it is signed. I was checking. Just wanted to make sure. It is signed. How beautiful. It even has a little fairy loop stamp up there. That's really neat. Okay, I, I think I'm going to love this book. I have a feeling. So there's that. And then there is also the letter from the author. Ooh, so pretty. I love that. I love when the letters from the authors have the character prints on them. And it just makes it so much nicer to be able to see what they envisioned. And I just, this is so beautiful. So there's that. And we get the fairy loot bookmark, which I love collecting as well. And then we have the pamphlet, which I'm super excited about. And this has an interview with the author, which is really cool. And I don't know if you can pause and read that, but that is really neat. Next month's theme is Beast and Beauty. Oh my gosh, is this a Beauty and the Beast kind of thing? Yes, it is. It's inspired by Beauty and the Beast. One of my favorite like stories ever. I'm so excited. And then I'm trying to find the um, spoiler card because I'm supposed to show you guys who made what and all of that. So I'm going to show you guys who made what. I hope it focuses. I don't think it's going to. Let me kind of... I hope that's... I don't know if it's focusing. I'm sorry if it's not... But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!